Hey, what's up? It's Gene Clark coming to you this Tuesday with another Travel Tip Tuesday tip of the day. And this week, we are talking all about strollers. We've got a side-by-side -side Juvie stroller, Juvie double stroller, and it is within the regulations of Disney and Universal stroller width requirements. Um, there are some out there where they will not be allowed in theme parks. If you are planning on using it in a theme park, we like to bring our own stroller because renting them, while you will have them at the theme parks, uh, if you rent it from the theme park directly, uh, that is not going to help you if you aren't actually in the theme park and you are going other places. There are a lot of great companies if you're flying in uh, or if you're driving down and you don't have room in your vehicle and you want to rent one while you are down there, you can do that. You're going to want to rent something like this and they're going to have a wide variety and they are all going to fit in the regulations of required uh, size and width and length and all that good stuff. Today though, we don't want to just talk about strollers, but what else you need on your stroller that's going to help get you through the day. First up, let's talk about this bad boy. This is a giant hook that can go on. It can hold your diaper bags. It can hold your souvenirs. It can hold anything and everything. Just slap it on and there you go. So now you're not worried about carrying anything, shoving it under the stroller. You can have it hooked up right there. Down here, if you've got more than two kids, it will come in handy to have a writing board on the back. Now, this one in particular, we do like. I'll leave a link to everything down in the description. Uh, but this one, you can move to one side or the other. I left it a little loose so we could show you how easy it is to move. Uh, or you can actually push it a little bit closer. You see how those move. Uh, and your kid can ride and there's plenty of room for your arms to either go around them or for again for them to be on one side or the other they can sit they can stand they can kneel uh, this one is very versatile and I like it because you can fold the stroller and this will actually help it continue to stand up Next up, number three accessory is a sound machine, especially if you've got little ones or you've got kids that can get overwhelmed. You can always grab a sound machine, turn it on, you can pull the shade down, and you can, sometimes we'll put even a little blanket over this, and you can try to go for an in-park nap, or you can just do that kind of drain out some of the or drain out drown out some of the craziness that is a theme park day with a small child all right number four accessory you want to bring with you for your vacation and use to pimp out your stroller is one of those fan water bottle things you know what it gets in Florida, it gets hot in Florida. You want a little extra wind, you want a little extra mist on your face. One of these, if you don't have it, spend the money and buy it at the parks. It will be worth every single dollar. I tell you, you will love it, your kids will love it. It is a lifesaver. It will be one of your favorite things you own. All right, next up, something else you wanna make sure to always bring with you. Now, we shoved this underneath, but I've got it in the seat to show it to you. This is an oversized poncho. What do we do with this? No, this one isn't for wearing. This one is for using to cover the stroller. So, if you've got a couple of kiddos, even if you don't have a couple of kiddos um, that won't wear ponchos, or too small for them, and, uh, you just want to make sure when y'all go inside or when you're away from your stroller and it starts raining, you don't want the stroller to get soaking wet. Throw the oversized poncho over your stroller. Nobody's going to take it. Nobody's going to mess with your stuff. And it is going to keep it all relatively dry when you get those pop-up rainstorms down in Florida. Okay, number six, last but certainly not least, we've got, no, not just a couple of Mickey-themed bandanas, 
but we are calling these stroller markers. When you go and you take a stroller to a theme park, Disney, Universal, Legoland, wherever you choose to go, guess what? There's a lot of other people with a lot of kids, and that means a lot of strollers. They're all pretty much black, different brands. They all look the same though. How are you gonna know the difference? Well, not only is yours gonna be decked out with all your cool stuff, but you're gonna have some stroller markers that are unique to you, that you know exactly where they are, you know exactly what to look for, and that is how you are going to fully deck out and pimp out your stroller to ensure you have the best time when you are on vacation. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Tune in next week for another travel tip. And as always, you're welcome.